Okay, so um, now that you have explained uh, so beautifully work related musculoskeletal disorders, uh, Pooja ma'am, over yeah. to you. Thank you. Uh, uh, just a minute. Before you start, uh, I am removing your, Maitri ma'am, your spotlight. If you wish to uh, keep your video on, that is okay. If you wish to keep your video off, that is also fine. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All uh, right. So greetings, everyone. Uh, Dr. Maitri has already described about the work-related musculoskeletal disorder. So now I am specifically focusing on work-related musculoskeletal disorder in corporate sector. But uh, before going to that, I'll just say one thing that uh, if you remember that uh, we had an assessment form and in that demographic data, occupation always come. So what is the reason why occupation is very important? Because as a UG also, when we used to take demographic data, but that occupation makes so much of sense of what pe person is going through. So as a patient also, we also uh, we always used to take occupation into consideration because usko jo bhi hua hai, the thing he's, he or she is suffering from is necessary to address ke, uh, the reason behind it is not occupation. And that's why the demographic data also included the occupation. So uh, we might not correlate all every time in the OPD. But for us at Ergofix, we have to focus on occupation and rather than occupation, we focus on workstations. So in corporate sectors, generally the workstations are similar. They need to do some administrative work and generally the computer uses more. So work-related musculoskeletal disorder in corporate ranges from uh, affecting the muscle, nerve, tendon and other soft tissues. And uh, the risk factor Dr. Maitri has already explained, but I'll just go through once that uh, the risk factor is workplace, but along with the workstations, the significant imp impact is also there of uh, individual's health, productivity, uh, overall quality of life. So a corporate person, if uh, he has sedentary life post or pre-office hours, that is also going to impact a lot on that specific corporate employee. So these are also the things that should be uh, managed by a corporate employee so that the risk factor reduces. So WMSD is a growing concern and taking notes, uh, taking uh, addressing this issue is a major thing right now in corporate as well as in industrial sector. Because just imagine as Dr. Maitri said that 40%, 41% people are already suffering because of WMSD. So 41% of your company employees are already suffering then how the productivity goes down matters a lot. So when you want a productivity, a growth of a company, then it is essential that more and more employees are best of their health. And for that, we also need to reduce the discomfort. We also need to reduce the pain. So prevention is the best. But if prevention is not possible, then rehabilitation and then back to function and maintenance is also required. So uh, first, we'll just go through one uh, causes of WMSD in corporate sector. So causes of uh, WMSD in corporate sector is one prolonged sedentary behavior that uh, people need to sit for extended hours with poor posture generally you see that uh, there are chairs in corporate sector with beautiful lumbar support they are aesthetic they are designed ergonomically but still people are not utilizing that lumbar support so we need to teach those people again and again that utilize how to utilize lumbar support how to how to feel relaxed with utilization of the chair how to use armrest at which level it should be so this things again and repetitions of this things keeps uh, gets the employee into the uh, subconscious level and then the pay, uh, employees will be able to incorporate those things into routine so uh, increase pressure on spine reduce blood flow to lower extremity because they are sitting for longer duration in the dependent position it also leads to swelling in the ankles these are also because of pre prolonged sedentary behavior then second is poor ergonomics. Uh, in some, most of the company now we see the workstation designed are very good. Aesthetic as well as ergonomically designed. But the height of chair, the employee does not adjust the height of chair. The desk setup is not properly adjusted at, as per of employee's individual requirement. Because the height of the employees are not going to be the same for everyone height changes, anthropometry measurement are different. 
so that according to requirement of the individual employee, the height adjustment should be there. The desktop setup should be there. The keyboard size also matters a lot. The, uh, a lot. Because the force employees uh, employees are putting forward, the repetitions that employees are putting forward while working on the keyboard or on the desk. At that time, strain, awkward posture and discomfort are might to happen. And how to prevent that? That is our job. Then another thing, another cause is repetitive strain. Repetitive tasks are there, such as typing, using mouse. It can cause a lot of strain on muscle and tendon of hands wrist and arms so this is called often uh, referred as repetitive strain injury or cumulative trauma disorder we generally use more of repetitive strain injury but it is also one of the wmsd then uh, inadequate workstation equipment uh, if i give you example the keyboard size also matters a lot if keyboard size is smaller then person has to shrugging will be there at the shoulder the comfort of the hand, elbow posture and everything will be very uh, different. So when there is workstation equipments are properly aligned, properly designed, then equipment will make a lot of difference on reducing musculoskeletal issues. So uh, if a person has non-adjustable chair, so it cannot be same for all the employees. It means there are 100 employees in a one corporate sector. But 100 employees are not uh, not having a non adjust it, it is non adjustable chair and ultimately it is going to lead a uh, strain on the shoulder on the back because the desk is either very high very low it will be on level for very less number of people so that's why this things proper workstation adequate workstation equipments are definitely needed another thing is lack of movement there are very less physical movement if we nowadays Everyone uses the Fitbit or Apple Watch or so they are counting the steps. So if we look forward for uh, corporate sectors, uh, uh, steps and all, then it would be very limited during 9 to 5, 10 to 5, whatever timing is there, 7 to 8 hours. So lack of movement is also one of the major cause of WMSD in corporates. So there will be very limited opportunity of physical movement, we understand. But simple stretching, the at ErgoFix, we always keep that in mind that a person is able to do exercise, the minimum exercise that stretches or strengthening at their workplace, in their workstation, so that they have some opportunity to move and it can reduce because of longer work hours also. And they have to do it repeatedly. Means after an hour, there is one little uh, round of the office or one simple stretch that can reduce the stiffness and discomfort. So, if we are doing this on the preventive aspect, it's best. If a uh, person is already suffering from the issues, then also this thing is going to rehabilitate this issue and it will reduce the load. So, acute in acute phase, if a person is started doing stretching and strengthening exercise, simple exercises, that also will lead to, uh, it might not solve it completely without going to a physiotherapy OPD, but it will reduce the discomfort and stiffness and ultimately, it might not convert into chronic uh, a chronic thing. So, if I give you an example, uh, piriformis syndrome, everyone might have heard. So, the corporate person has to sit for longer duration. If a person is sitting for longer duration and not doing any movement, not doing stretching or anything. So, person is having hardly 100, 150 steps in 9 to 5, 7 to 8 hours of job, 9 hours of job. So at that time, what will happen? The pressure comes on the uh, on our sitting area, right? On the buttocks. So continuous pressure is there. If a person is already started having some sort of stiffness at the gluteal region or in the buttocks and at the lower back. So if person does not start with the stretching or strengthening uh, to reduce their stiffness and discomfort, then ultimately it will go on. Ultimately, it will convert into pyriformis tightness. Pyriformis tightness will lead to compression on the sciatic nerve and it will lead to pain in the entire leg. So, it converts into chronic area. So, we don't want that. So, lack of movement should be addressed and it should be resolved. So, uh, companies are also doing so many things. Now, one Friday is uh, a very, very much, uh, uh, very... Uh, 
frequently they are also managing fun fridays where they have some sort of movements and activities that are actually physical so these are the things that companies are already doing it for their employees well being but now employees should also be aware enough to utilize this opportunity and use the maximum uh, utilization of maximum training they are providing another thing is stress and mental fatigue so nowadays even an individual is also in competitive area forget about the company's productivity and competitiveness individual is also in the competitive uh, stress constantly so at that time high level of stress and mental fatigues are always going to be there and it is going to contribute to your muscle tension and muscle pain so uh, some sort of breathing exercises we have already learned those breathing exercises which can uh, if uh, give tremendous effect on your uh, reducing muscle tension so utilize those breathing techniques as well in the corporate as well as in the industries area so uh, now we'll move forward after the causes what are the common symptoms of wmsd in corporates so one thing is muscle pain persistent intermittent discomfort then it leads to pain it may be because of stiffness it may be cramping cramping would be there so there are different reasons but muscle pain would be there joint pain generally in the chronic phase when the joint like shoulder elbow wrist knees are often uh, exacerbated by specific movement or postures as i said that if chair height is not adjustable then the shoulder will be shrugged in the anteriorly it will be pro, uh, protracted shoulder protracted shoulder so because of this postures also the shoulder pain might happen then uh, next is numbness and tingling as i said because of piriformis syndrome also there might be numbness and tingling in the entire leg same way if a person is having neck pain and there is so much of load on the neck as dr maitri also explained that how the angle of uh, neck puts so much uh, angle of our head puts so much pressure on the cervical so if a nerve is compressed at that time there will be sensation of numbness tingling particularly in the hands and fingers if neck pain is there if back pain is there and it is not treated it is not addressed then it can lead to uh, same pain and numbness tingling in the lower limbs then another thing is reduced range of motion that uh, body part is i am sitting in this posture for 8 to 9 hours there will be no full range of motion at my single joint so all the body parts should be in the at least one passive range of motion or active range of motion is sufficient to prevent stiffness and pain so one full range of motion of all joint should be done in entire day so that that all the muscles prevention is always better so preventive aspects can be taken into consideration and for swelling inflammation and swelling around the uh, generally it is seen in the ankle and foot because of the dependent position so for that also the foot rest plays a major role along with the foot rest some simple uh, ankle toe movement also gives very good impact on the uh, swelling it reduces a lot then what will be the impact of wmsd in corporate sector one corporate employees health will be affected chronic pain disability re uh, reduce quality of life just imagine that i am in the morning i don't have much of a pain i am working for 8 to 9 hours con uh, con continuously after that i started having discomfort pain in the neck or back then after going also after going home also i am uh, suffering from that pain and discomfort then ultimately it is going to have a reduced quality of life socialization i would not like socialization if i am in constant pain so secondary things like reduce quality of life is there because of that socialization reduces then mental health issue arises so an individual employee's health is also uh, getting affected then second is productivity when a person is suffering from any sort of muscular pain or discomfort person will not be able to focus on that work by 100% so frequency of absenteeism also increases the uh, productivity of working hours a person is working for 9 hours but initial 4 hours might be good but last 5 hours would be painful so ultimately what happens that a person is not able to focus on the work 
so productivity goes down just imagine 41% employees are affected by wmsd then 41% uh, employees productivity is going down then how the company will progress right then another thing is financial cost the medical expense the compensation claim the indirect cost like uh, related to absenteeism reduced productivity so these things also affect a lot and ultimately when a person is not able to work at all in i have seen certain patients at in their 40s who had severe issues of back and uh, because of PIVD, because of work only, uh, he started suffering from PIVD, and he has he had to leave his job. He had to change his uh, sector completely at the age of uh, forty five or forty six. So just imagine a person who is doing a lot, who is go doing very good uh, sales or bringing so much of business to the company, and that person needs to be replaced. Then again, you have to bring the new staff. You have to train them. The process is very long. So financial cost is really very high when we see over, over when we look into all these things and workplace moral. If there are so many people ke haan yaar mujhe bhi back pain ho raha hai, haan yaar mujhe bhi neck pain ho raha hai, then overall ke yaar itna kaam karne ke baad I am having so many issues. The, uh, so there will be some sort of uh, dissatisfaction in the work. So when a company is arranging this sort of uh, rehabilitation or preventive training, it impacts a lot on workplace moral as well. So what can be done? So first is preventive strategies, that is ergonomic workstation design. Nowadays, whatever company we have gone, uh, we have gone to, mostly they have very good ergonomically designed workstation. So generally the chairs are adjustable, monitor stands are there, laptop recliners are there according to the requirement. So ergonomic workstation design is taken into consideration by almost most of the corporate companies, even in the industries. Then regular break and movements. Encourage employees to take regular break, have a stretch one movement a day in the in the office area maybe so this also impacts a lot on musculoskeletal strain then training and awareness provide training on proper ergonomics posture techniques for reducing strain during repetitive tasks promote awareness about importance of ergonomics preventive measures put posture uh, different different posters to make the create that awareness because what happens in the early years in 25 or 25 to 30 these things we are very uh good in our health so generally young people do not tend to focus on these things so when we keep certain posters available at our workplace so person will be uh gravitated more towards that awareness and pe person will think about it again and again so whatever training are provided by the company they will utilize it then health and wellness program can be conducted uh reporting and prompt reporting means in acute phase only if an employee is reporting and management is done then it would be very easy for a medical referral to get the condition in control so uh at ergofix we are doing all these things that uh mostly ergonomically designed area is there so we focus that uh employee an employee is utilizing to the max all the uh, sitting, uh, all, utilizing max the ergonomically designed furniture. So we teach them how to utilize the lumbar support. Uh, in corporate sector, I'm right now telling how to utilize the keyboard to the max and how to keep the shoulder relaxed, how to use the arm rest, how to use the mouse and what are the simple stretches that can be done at the workplace so that you can prevent those aspects. And we also cover joint wise uh, uh, certain stretching and strengthening exercises that can be done. If a person is already suffering from certain issues, in some discomfort, that will be very helpful. But in the advanced stage, of course, physiotherapy, proper evaluation and proper treatment is always required. So in conclusion, uh, WMSD is significant concern in the corporate sectors. It is impacting a lot on employees' health and ultimately on the productivity. An organization is also suffering from the uh, financial cost. So by understanding the cause, symptom and impacts, if a company starts doing this sort of things, and we also utilize, as a physiotherapist, we also utilize our knowledge to the maximum level, then it would be very beneficial for overall financial growth of the economy. 
so uh, healthier and more productive environment everyone loves so let's take proactive measures in ergonomics employee education and wellness initiative so that uh, we can reduce the prevention uh, uh, prevention will reduce the wmsd prevalence and ultimately the well being of the workforce will be there Thank you so much, ma'am. That was a very insightful uh, discussion. But what I understand uh, from the entire you know, talk is that um, the work-related musculoskeletal disorders, they are different in corporate as well as, you know, different in corporate and different in industrial sectors. True. Right. So um, a comprehensive assessment is absolutely required. Also, um, the entire, uh, this was... Uh, you know, focused on work-related musculoskeletal disorders. You told us about preventive strategies and everything. Um, would you like to, you know, shed some light on how important rest periods are between, you know, working uh, hours? Yeah, uh, we generally prescribe that 90 minutes, after 90 minutes, there should be five minutes of movement. Rather, okay. a person is taking a lap in their office or simple stretching, Simple stretching, I'll just show you. These things can be done at their workplace, at that workstation, right? So mm -hmm. simple stretching exercises, this exercise is going to prevent the tennis elbow. So these are the simple stretching exercises that should be done every 90 minutes minimum. So five minutes of movement and 90 minutes of work, that is fair enough for the employees as well. Right. Yeah. Um, also, so we as physiotherapists, we know how uh, important these rest periods are between, yes. but um, how is the compliance of these employees that you have worked with? As I said, younger people do not tend to focus on these things because uh, they have a mindset that yeah, I'm all good. I don't have any issues. I don't need to focus right. on that. But about 35 or 40 people are already suffering from one or the other things. Mm -hmm. So they are understanding the importance of these things very, very nicely. And it is very easy to have a compliance for, from those people because they are already suffering from one or the other thing. They are focusing on the uh, training. They are utilizing the training aspect and they are doing it in the uh, routine. So nice. younger people tend to have lesser, com lesser compliance. But I want to take this uh, platform and utilize it okay? because just you are younger. That doesn't mean this might not happen to you. Right. Because in WMSD, the repetition is the reason. Just mm -hmm. imagine you are doing the same thing from for nine hours. As a physiotherapist, we don't need to do that. We have a different sort of moments for our entire working time. But for the right. corporate or industrial, they are doing the same thing for nine to ten hours. And that is a lot. And that is you are doing for almost 25, 30, 35 years. Right. So... Just because in younger age you are not suffering from any issue doesn't mean this might not happen to you. So nice. focus on preventive part, if not rehabilitation, but focus on preventive part so that it would not affect you. And we need workforce who is healthy. So right. <laughs> it is always better to have a healthy youth than uh, not focusing on these things. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Uh, apart from the you know, the entire rehabilitation or uh, entire uh, exercises that you prescribe. Uh, do you think nutrition also plays a very important part in this? A lot, a lot. So we are not expert in diet and nutrition. But we do have uh, on our team, in Argofix team, but it always affects a lot because when you are having, uh, if we have seen uh, routinely, okay, there are some people who are very obsessed with protein. We think they are very obsessed with protein. But the thing is, in uh, Indian culture as well, we are protein deficient. In mm. our health, uh, if we see our routine a meal, one mm. meal does not have, most of the meals have hardly any protein content. So when there is lesser protein, the muscle recovery affects a lot. So when mm. there is good amount of protein is available, carbohydrates are sufficient enough and uh, good fat is always there. So the combined meal, the combination of the meals affect a lot because of the balance of all this macronutrient as well as micronutrients. It affects a lot. And we have also seen uh, micronutrient deficiency. Zinc deficiency is also nowadays very common in Indian employees. Indian, overall Indian population. 
then uh, uh, B12 deficiency. We have seen n number of cases now of B12 deficiency, right? So util using the using RO bottle is also one of the major reason of uh, B12 deficiency as per the mm -hmm. research test. But mm -hmm. these things ultimately lead to wear more wear and tear and lesser recovery in muscles. So it affects a lot, yeah. Okay, so you do have Apart a dietitian. From, or a, yeah, I yeah, just sorry. want to add one thing. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, nowadays, there is a gym culture, right? We are going right. for a gym. We are lifting the heavy objects. We want to be in a shape. But yeah. do you think everybody is doing in the right direction? They are keeping that uh, instructor. But ultimately, right. they are going for a disc bulge. They are going for a strain injury and all. Apart from that, people are adding uh, that protein in the routine life. And they are taking excessive protein. Ultimately, right. it is giving you the osteoarthritis, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you need to keep all these things in the mind when you are taking, talking about the... Mm -hmm. the uh, this is the diet and nutrition and by keeping this mind only we have kept one uh, corporate sector so they will understand that your body is take and what is the proper way to take right absolutely so um apart from uh, all of this can you just uh you know tell us a little about uh who all are there in your uh team as an orgofix like when you go out for an assessment or um while you are doing uh, an assessment if a company does um, you know approach you so you already told us what the entire uh, process is but uh, who are who all are uh, you know part of your team apart from physios physios uh, apart from physios there are some ergonomic auditors on our team then okay. diet and nutrition specialist uh, we have on our team a uh, physician consultant orthopedic consultant gynec consultant because in some companies they want a uh, wholesome, uh, matlab, holistic uh, workplace right, wellness. Right, yeah, right. holistic workplace wellness program. So at that time, we have different consultant on our team. And along with that, we also have ENT specialists because uh, in yeah. industries, the uh, amount of noise, the des it is right. pretty much higher than the decibels that is prescribed to uh, for routine. Right. So it also affects the hearing and everything. So for that also, we also have ENT specialist on our team. And uh, diet and nutrition is also very much important. And nowadays, they also, companies also want ki diet and nutrition seminars. Hum kare. Okay. Yes, kare. So uh, the thing is that people are now looking forward for holistic workplace wellness. So mm -hmm. we have entire team and the army is ready, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, whatever requirement is there at the workplace, I'll go fix it. For health, yeah. <laughs> For health, I'll go fix We have a solution. <laughs> that is awesome. So, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us and, uh, you know, letting us know about all of this. Um, corporate sectors right now are, you know, booming and uh, they are pretty much um, focused on uh, employee health like yes. physical as well as mental yeah. and ergonomics, they play a very important part. So thank you so much, both of you for finding the time and uh, doing this for our viewers. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting us. Thank you. Bye.